I believe that we as a Jewish people are disappearing over time. I think this is an existential crisis. Jewish people are facing an existential crisis because our young people are increasingly intermarrying and they are leaving the faith. And if that continues, pretty soon there won't be any Jews. I went into the matchmaking world 32 years ago to try to stop intermarriage. And I ask everybody, did your children marry Jews? And nine out of 10, they tell me no. I said, did you send your kids to Jewish schools? They said, no. But I did everything right. Besides that, they say, uh, they had bar mitzvahs. They had bat mitzvahs. Uh, we went to Israel for a week. You know, I did everything right. We went to shul um, every Rosh Hashanah. We went to shul, you know, twice a year. What else can I do? I did everything I could. But then I think, they forgot to give their kids a Torah education. Now, when we first got married, the thought was we'll send our kids to public school and, you know, we'll have a, two kids and life will be great. And they'll go to college, they'll get married and have kids, and that was it. I mean, that was the thought. There was no inkling of thought about Hillel Academy, Jewish day school, Jewish values, none of it. It was never such a big deal in my life, Judaism. Like, it was an essential part of my life, but it wasn't something that was like a daily routine in my life. Like, I went to Sunday school, went to synagogue every once in a while, but it really was not an integral part of my day-to-day -day life. And my grandparents just really wanted me to get a Jewish education more than I was before. I transferred to Hillel Academy because I really wanted to learn more about Judaism. My parents were not originally religious Jews, but they decided that they wanted to give their kids a Jewish education, so they looked into different schools, and the one they chose at that point was Hillel Academy. As a parent, I've seen the school evolve in wonderful ways. I see that there's such a stress on giving them a well-rounded education, secular and Judaic as well. I want my kids to go to college, and I also want them to be um, Torah observant, and I, I know I can't get that in just any school. At Hillel, you don't have to miss school for Jewish holidays. You don't have to miss activities by keeping Shabbat. You don't have to explain in the lunchroom that you have to you know, sit separately because you have matzah and you don't, you don't have to separate yourself from the community. You can be part of the community. I found a family. My class was amazing. They welcomed us. Another girl switched in with me from public school. They welcomed us with open arms. Um, my teachers were unbelievable. When I started, they gave me the tests on half the material till progressively that I could do everything that everyone else was doing by the time I finished. What does Rashi say? What does Rashi say? Shlomim shel Chova, obligatory shlomim. Let's see the next word. Back to the Pusik for a second. The Torah is the Torah for our lives. We live the life of the Torah. And it's so, so important that all the background that the kids need, all the knowledge that the kids need, that the kids are going to use for the rest of their lives, should be acquired to them. And that's done through a Jewish education. Okay, I want you to turn to the page where it has Tovah. And I'm showing you these pictures of the spinning wheels. Can you see this? Yeah. shil chavatisha does anyone have any idea, can you put this back please, on earth, what that means? Yes, dear. Yad is hand? Yes, yadeha, her hands. Good. Kapeha would be like her palms. Okay, so there was one part that you held with the left hand and one part with the right hand. My children have a, a sense of purpose in their lives at this young age. They know that they're orthodox. 
They know that at Friday night we have Shabbos, a Shabbos meal. And Saturday during the day we have a Shabbos meal and we go to shul. All the things that we do, they all have purpose and they affect their being from the moment they get up to the minute they go to sleep. When I was a kid, I didn't have any of those things. There was no sense of, of a grounding or a foundation in Judaism whatsoever. Hillel Academy has brought that to my kids. hope for my children is that they grow up to be good, kind people who give back to the world. I think Hill Academy is helping me to do that because they have a great secular education, but they also, as I stated before, have infused the values of Judaism into that education. How much is that? 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 70. Last summer, I yeah. took a trip to China. Uh, and. I brought my Judaism to China and I was able to answer questions about Judaism and really show what I had learned at Hillel. Part of Yaakov's character. Andy, back to your initial question. So why is Yisrael here? Why right. not Yaakov? Make sure that it's actually down in there touching. It doesn't have to touch the bottom of the cup, you just want it to be in the solution. I'm not horizontal, that's why I'm not oh, okay. the Alright, so we're not finding horizontal awesome system. I said we're finding horizontal or a hole. Okay, okay, so why wasn't I getting one? Often I have a student that comes for, uh, let's say, a family wedding in Pittsburgh and they tell me, oh, I remember you taught me this. I remember uh, in your class when you did that. And it's tremendously rewarding when after 10, 15, even 20 years, you have a student that says, I remember what you taught me in class and, and uh, it uh, was very useful to me in life. So what are your adaptations? For him, he's got a rock skin body. Okay. Ma that's... Basically making him immune to most attacks from predators and stuff. There isn't a problem, there isn't an inquiry about, about someone making a mistake. We wanted our kids to be Jewish. We knew that. We didn't know necessarily how to get there. Hillel Academy has provided us that blueprint. This is what we need to do to, to ensure that our children are Jewish. Now what's interesting about Hillel though is our children have been infused with a certain spirit by being here that we wouldn't get anywhere else. Hillel Academy is a perfect example of how a Jewish day school can influence our youth. The children who go to Hillel Academy come out as knowledgeable Jews with wonderful character and they end up being very successful in the world and maintaining their Judaism. After Hillel Academy, I will be going to Brandeis University next year. I'm going to Bar Ilan University in Tel Aviv. I've already been accepted into New York University Stern School of Business, but I will be taking a gap year to uh, study at Sharim Eviseratzion, the uh, yeshiva in Israel.